everything you're seeing here on the screen is capped on the IFE system. So I think you've already seen some of the architectures, you've seen the connectivity server. Everything you see here is cached um, on the Connectivity Communications Manager. So if we just, for instance, click here onto the news item, you'll see now um, we have already cached, we've already uploaded um, uh, the news content um, that, is, that is relevant. And then during the period of the flight, at a set uh, period determined by the airline, they would send updates to the aircraft to refresh the data. You've uploaded the this at the gate then? So this could be uploaded at the gate, yeah. I mean, certainly we have some some video content as well, so we would imagine that this would be uploaded at the gate, um, where we can actually provide some video content. Um, and then, but then throughout the flight, we would use the, the Swift broadband to provide a managed update from our ground server, so we know exactly what's going up over the pipe to refresh the content. Okay. So again, you know, we have. There's sort of determined intervals for updating our yes, absolutely. chosen by the airline. Yeah. But the point is that the, 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 yeah, the, key, the key point is that every single passenger on the aircraft has a connectivity experience. There's a, there's a, real, uh, you know, a real interface in front of every passenger um, uh, you know, enabling the airline to be able to give them the connectivity experience. So if we just go now to this uh, communication section here where... Um, we allow passengers now to be able to compose, send and receive emails and SMSs. So I've already logged in, I've already created an account here. Um, I can go to my inbox and see, uh, I've already had a message here, but let's, let's send an SMS. Um, so Mary, do you have a, can you tell me what your telephone number is? Yeah, 717. Uh, no, US. 717. Oh, do you know, I apologize. AT&T, I don't have service. 